Here's what I know for sure. If everything seems to be under control, you're probably not moving fast enough. And if you're not pretty much always confused, most likely you're not thinking deeply enough. And if you find you're not forever amazed, maybe you're not seeing wildly enough. The truth is fluid and slippery and, and vagrant and scrambled and gorgeously abundant. You know I'm right. Yes. You know there are at least three sides to every story. You know that everyone in the world has a piece of the truth, and no one has more than a piece of the truth. So friends, I'm going to ask you to help me keep us all focused on these sacred uncertainties. I'm going to ask you to vote for me. Whoever you are, whatever beautiful monster you have made into your God, whatever media viruses you've invited into your most intimate places, you can decide right now that you are going to vote for me. <laughs> you can decide right now that you're ready to change your lives, change your signs, change your changing, because when you vote for me, you vote for your own purified, glorified, unified, and mystifying self. If I am elected, I will teach you how to kick your own ass and wash your own brain before somebody nasty beats you to it. If I am elected, I will show you in a million ways why you and I should be totally opposed to all duality. If I am elected, I will prove to you that everyone who believes in the devil is the devil. If I am elected, Yah Yah will be Yah Yah. Yah Yah will not be Yah Yah. And if I am elected, the word asshole will be used as a term of endearment rather than abuse. My beautiful friends and monsters, understand me or go to hell. <laughs> I love you! I love you, God damn it! I love you more than I love you! <laughs> and I'll prove to you how much I love you if I have to kill my ego to do it. This language prevents crying. This engineering moves you to sing. These advertisements make you smart. This rhythm frees all prisoners of childhood. My beautiful friends and monsters, it is high time for you and I to stop colluding with the so-called entertainers who are perpetrating the genocide of the imagination. It is high time for you and I to stop heeding the lies of the necrophiliac journalists and the goddess-killing CEOs and the criminally insane politicians who are torturing the seven perfect secrets from the beginning of time. Do you know how to tell the difference between your own thoughts and the thoughts of the celebrities who have demonically possessed you? If I am elected, you will always know the difference beyond a doubt. If I am elected, there will be a new Bill of Rights, and the First Amendment will be your daily wage is directly tied to the beauty and truth and love you provide. If I am elected, I will prove to you why it is so important for the future of daffodils and sea urchins and the jet stream that childbirth be broadcast live in prime time on one of the major TV networks every night. If I am elected, we will add an eleventh commandment to the standard ten. Thou shalt not bore God. If I am elected, 
When anchormen report tragedies on their nightly TV news shows, they will break down and cry and let their emotions show no more poker faces. And if I am elected, you and I will grow up to be exhilarationists instead of terrorists. Exhilarationists are tricky saints who steal your pain and drive you insane with joy and pleasure. Exhilarationists are brilliant fools who break the rules to make you drool with shocking delight and outrageous beauty. Relax. You are becoming very relaxed. Your eyes are growing very calm. All tension is draining out of your body. And yet you are not getting sleepy. In fact, you have never felt more alert and alive in your entire lives. And so you will obey everything I don't say. You will obey everything I don't know. You will obey everything I forgot. You will obey nothing at all. If I am elected, there will be legal highs, not legal lows, mystical science and logical horoscopes, Compassion will be an aphrodisiac. I will be a pyrokleptomaniac with a compulsion to steal fire. If I am elected, there will be a magical realist democracy. A magical realist democracy where millions vote for ecstasy and April Fools will come once a week. Plutocracy will be a felony. If I am elected, there will be seven genders that can all marry each other. The moon will be your father, the sun will be your mother. There will be sacred shopping malls where you can buy magic carpets and waterfalls. Meditation will be taught in schools. There will be seven billion different golden rules. And if I am corrected, respected, injected, and perfected, I will buy up all the pizza huts in the world and convert them into a global network of menstrual huts <laughs> where for a few days each month every one of us, men and women alike, can resign from the crazy making nine to five. We'll drop out and slow down. We'll break trance and dive down into eternal time where we can sleep nine hours every night and practice our lucid dreams and think with our hearts and feel with our heads and study the difference between stupid, boring pain and smart, fascinating pain until we get it right. We'll wear wildflower crowns and magic underwear made out of eagle feathers and spider webs. We'll think up bigger, better, more original sins and wilder, wetter, more interesting problems. <laughs> I'm the president now! And so are you. I am the supreme commander of the United Snakes of the Blooming Ha-Ha, and so are you. I am the eternal teacher of permanent orgasm, and so are you. And what we say is that when we are elected, we will love our neighbors as ourselves, even if our neighbors are jerks. We will never divide the world into us against them. We will search for the divine spark even in the people we most despise. And we will never, never, never dehumanize anyone, even those who dehumanize us. If I am elected, 
sooner or later, every one of us will be a well-rounded, highly skilled, incredibly rich master of rowdy bliss. And if I am elected, every one of us will sooner or later become an ecstatically compassionate connoisseur of insurrectionary beauty with lots of leisure time and an orgiastic feminist conscience. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.